Hello my scrappy friends and welcome to my channel today for another scrapbooking process video. Uh, today's share is my first for Cut To You for February and we are um, collaborating with Spiegel Mum Scraps and Fab Foils and I've also played along with the CSI Challenge 345 which was that image I showed you there. I'm using two of these cut files, the gold foil from Spiegel Mum Scraps to create this layout here. So, um, I will be completely honest, I had a few issues cutting the foil on my machine. Uh, I think it was my machine, I'm fairly certain it was my machine actually because it's never enjoyed uh, cutting specialty papers of any kind whatsoever. Uh, so I did end up going with a bit of a different plan than what I started with, which was the internal letters instead of the external letters. But you can see that I have uh, used my cameo to cut the insides of the pieces for my little gnomes. They're the cutest things ever, Gwen. I love them so, so much. Thank you so much for creating them. Um, and you can see here, I am just working on backing uh, the rest of my gnomes. I've cut some white cardstock here to fill Mr. Gnome's beard. And I'm gonna fill that in with some Nouveau um, Glimmer Paste, I think it's called, in Moonstone, I think the color is, which is just the clear and so you get to watch me do that for a bit and then I'll show you a close up. Uh, for Mrs. Gnome that you can see there on the right hand side, I have uh, backed the same parts of her in gold that I have on him. And then I've used a very light pink card, um, pattern paper actually, to do her little piggy tails. I'm going to back their little noses with red because I'm using this, that picture there as inspiration. And you're going to see me sample a couple of reds and then trim them down. Um, I am going to come back on live in just a second because uh, something happened and I didn't record my background process. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I have no idea what happened. Um, I thought I pressed record when I made my background, but I did not. So um, I'm going to show you quickly, then give you a real quick demo. And then I shall continue putting my page together. Um, but you can see here on my background, that is um, acrylic paint. It is all acrylic paint. I am using the mixed media paper from Color Blast, uh, my new favorite. I think it's incredible. I've got some pink and red and gold splatters and some red acrylic paint. I'm gonna give you a real quick demo. All I did, super simple just added a little bit of the paint color I was working with to my mat here. Spritzed a little bit of water and I just made it a little bit more fluid than acrylic paint is normally. Does that make sense? Not, not much because I didn't want it to run all over the page. And then I literally painted like this along the center line of that cardstock which I had, um, so that cardstock has been trimmed down to 11 by 11. Uh, and see so this, this paint is a little bit more watery than what I used yesterday to do it. Um, but yeah, so that, <clears throat> that cardstock is trimmed down. But from that center line, I did literally exactly what I'm doing now. Yeah. The, because I'm trying to just use a tiny bit of paint so I don't waste it, I'm not able to get quite the right texture, but it was a little bit less liquid than this. Obviously, when I did my splatters, I made it a bit more liquidy, um, but you can see up here that I've got those really fine flicks, which is what I've got along here as well. I wanted to tell a bit of a, not so much a, a, a love story or a Valentine's story, but I had this photo of my husband and I, and I remember taking it and I remember what was going through my head as I took it. And I was thinking, gee, how many photos of us at an event do I need to take and go, look, this is us at this event. And then I thought, you know what, I'm going to tell a bit of a different story with this. Um, it is still an us story, but I think it's, um, I'm going to use the prompts. So I will go into that more in detail in my voiceover. But just a really quick demo of exactly what I did to get that background. I'm going to pop you back on fast forward. Um, and I hope you enjoy my process. All right, so I am back. Uh, 
if that didn't make any sense, I do apologise. But, um, yeah, like I said, I don't know what happened. I thought I pressed record. Apparently, I didn't. So I'm just going to add some white splatters here uh, using the same technique that I did before. Again, white. Uh, this is obviously the rest is not white. This is white acrylic paint with a little bit of water, and I'm just going to splatter that all over. Um, and yeah, so like I said in my live bit there, I am playing along with the CSI challenge. Uh, and one of the prompts was to uh, journal as a letter. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. What I've got here is a little glassine bag. Uh, I haven't done my journaling yet, but I am going to do it in letter form and pop it into the little bag. It is uh, a bit more personal than what I would normally put front and center on a scrapbook layout. So that is part of the reason why it's going in the envelope. Um, but like I said, I did kind of want to tell a bit of a different story when I took this photo. So this worked really well. Um, you can see on the right there, I've got my cut files all cut and all backed. Uh, I did end up cutting uh, the A Love Like Gnome Other <laughs> on some Tutu Pink cardstock. And I have the letters... The gold foiled letters, I love how they turned out. This got this foil is so amazing. Um, Sarah, Sarah Scraps has a video on her channel sharing how to apply this foil. Uh, and her biggest tip is to go slowly and I could not agree more. So uh, if you're going to get some of this foil, which was super fun to play with, um, so, so many different ways to use it. I was like, oh, I could use this. Oh, I could. I'm like, no, no, you have to use, not I have to use cut files. Pull out your cut files and get to work. So um, I did, yeah, that, I was so inspired. Anyway, uh, so I have popped up all of those letters on some fun foam, like I'm doing here with my photo as well, which I've added some white tissue paper behind. I've added some of the same pink pattern paper that is in Mrs. Gnome's um, little hair um, oh my gosh, I've gone ponytails, gone completely blank there. Uh, and I've added that layer and also the wood grain that I'm going to use around the edge of my layout. So I'm just going to stick all this down. Uh, as you can see, I've just folded up that bag so that it, it fits nicely, uh, so that my photo fits well on top of it, making sure that I can still put stuff in the pocket instead of sealing it up, which I've definitely done that before. Uh, when I cut my gnomes as well, you'll, you might notice on the left-hand side of Mr. Gnome, the, the very end of his hat is um, is not cut. Again, cameo, I was ready to throw the thing. But I got there in the end. Um, I can tuck him in so that you can't even tell. These gnomes are the absolute cutest. My colour scheme came from the image for CSI as well which really helped. I was like, oh my gosh, there's gold in this. This is perfect. Absolutely amazing. The wood grain, I'm, this is a bit vague, but it's kind of how I came to the conclusion of the wood grain. I think there is some wood grain look on the, like the wheel arch. Uh, so that's where it came from. But I also kind of went wood grain for kind of brown. I'll just run with it. <laughs> I've gutted the center of that pattern paper. It is a Cocoa Vanilla Studio paper from Daydream. I think it's over the rainbow. I've added some pink stitching around my photo and also around the edge of this cardstock. I'm using my T-square ruler to make sure this is straight. How many times can you say you've seen me do that? Uh, and then I'm going to use my T-square ruler as well to get all my bits on the page again. Like it's not something I do very often, but because of the nature of this layer and how I've laid it all out, I knew that it had to be straight. Otherwise it was going to be really obvious that I'd screwed up. I am starting with my photo here. Uh, I kind of go, I think that's where it's going to go. And then I'm going to place my other bits and then I'm going to go in with my glue. And I do not show you the whole process because it was a bit of a, a bit of a muck around, but I get there in the end, everything is straight and I am super duper happy. Um, like I said, I'm going to tuck Mr. Gnome's hat into the layers of my photo and big, because I'd added those layers behind my photo, my cut files and my photo took up 
more space on my cardstock than I had originally allocated. So you can see it's um, going over both edges just a little bit. I'm totally okay with that because uh, it's kind of even. So I'm, yeah, I, th I really like how this page came because I love the colors. Um, I was, like I said, super inspired. So you can see I'm just lifting the bits up and adding glue underneath without actually moving anything. I'm going to bring my T-square back in and then stick everything else down. Again, I'm not going to make you watch me do all of that. Um, but I did leave this little bit in here. Now, I found this is the easiest way to add these letters back in rather than adding glue to the letter. Uh, so just a little tip from me if you're a bit of a, you know, get glue everywhere, get paint everywhere kind of person. Um, if you add the glue to the background instead of the letter, you'll find you get less glue everywhere just weighing that down because of this so there's that stitching on that line and I did want it to kind of stay stuck so I'm just just using my tiny attacher to get that to stick um, I'm doing the same thing on the other side and then I'm going to add a little bit of embellishing uh, the little black kind of drawing doodly border doodly things on the inspiration is where I pulled out the black things from and there were like lots of like little sprinkly bits so I've pulled out a bunch of little sprinkly bits and I end up using hardly any uh, but I'm really happy with what I do end up with on this page um, I think I end up with three of these little black labels a few enamel dots and that's pretty much it um, I will make sure that in the description box below I leave links to Spiegel Mum scraps for the foil. This stuff is really fun to play with. Um, I will leave a link to Sarah's scraps video as well because you'll want to watch that if you're going to buy some. I guarantee it. Uh, go slowly, 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 super slow. Um, uh, obviously, I will leave links for these amazing cut files. My goodness, I was so excited when I saw them. I love them love them uh so i those black vellum word stickers are pink paisley the glittery enamel hearts that i am now sticking are freckled fawn um i have three single dark pink round small enamel dots here i'm like i'm using them up and then i've got two of these little hearts in the light pink and I use one of the bigger round enamel dots as well and then I think the very last thing that I do after I've got these in because as you can see I am mucking around getting them like in just the perfect place which is hilarious I lost an enamel dot I thought behind Mr. Gnome but he, the enamel dot was stuck to my finger who's ever done that who hasn't done that uh, so yeah I'm just making sure I've got these in just the right spot uh, and then I'm going to come in with uh, I think my black India ink oh no I forgot about this so I kind of felt like the pink of the word gnome was blending in a little bit I'm using this marker here it is a uh, Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen Fine Liner this is a small one so it's 0 0.3 and I'm just sketching around the word gnome just to make it pop a little bit more. I just felt like it was blending in a bit too much. Uh, and again, I'm not going to make you watch all of that, but you can see here um, a lot of it, my head was in the way. Um, I was just kind of doing little bits at a time, joining them up. Uh, and yeah, I really like how that just kind of defines it a little bit more. A few little, um, a little, a few <laughs> little tiny black splatters around where those little tiny enamel cut, cut, clusters are oh my goodness I'm gonna blame lockdown yeah yeah that works so here is the image again I've got red paint on it because it's what I do uh, the uh, still photo of that with the colors at the bottom here is my layout I've got a ton of close-ups for you and I really hope that you enjoyed my share today uh, like I said, I'll leave links to everything in the description box below if you have any questions please make sure you leave them below Thank you ever so much for stopping by. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. Uh, it's lovely to have you here. Uh, to all of you that leave me comments and likes and just generally uh, watch everything that I do, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, I hope that whatever you are doing, you are staying safe, staying scrappy, and I will see you again in my next video.